So as far as the out-of-box experience, once you've set up your Shiva plug to boot from an SD card and you've flashed the card and you've booted the unit on your network, you should be able to, with most networks, simply type in plug PBX. Um, in this case, I'm using a Mac. My Linksys router is running something called Tomato. So whenever a host name registers, it's part of the DNS lookup. So I'm able to resolve a simple host name like this. If you're using uh, Windows, <clears throat> this happens out of the box. If you don't have a sophisticated router, then you can also access it with the dot .local. This is something that uh, is unique to Macs out of the box and some Linux distributions now using what's called zero comp or I think Apple calls it bonjour. Doesn't matter. Anyways, so there's a simple splash page here. I'm not a graphic artist, but uh, if somebody wants to maybe write up a nicer PHP interface to do this, and maybe we can add some, you know, like a dashboard, that'd be cool, but down the road. We have a link to three of the built-in uh, functions that FreePBX kind of builds out of the box. A voicemail and recordings interface it allows you to check your voicemail, delete it. If you've recorded any calls or you set the system to record all the calls by default, you can go in there and actually access them, listen to them, play them, delete them. The flash operator panel provides a flash interface to your system. It allows you to see what extensions are registered. If it works properly, uh, you're able to see calls come in. You actually can drag and drop calls to transfer them. The voicemail recording interface does work. So I have a very cryptic password here. And I don't have any voicemail here, obviously. Uh, the free PBX I'll get into in a minute. That's the meat and potatoes of the system. You'll spend most of your time there. I've just put in PHP sysinfo. Uh, just gives you a couple basic overviews. You can see the actual memory consumption of the system. You can look at what your swap and disk space is. You can see here that we're only using about 124 megs of RAM between asterisks and the OS. Everything else is cached. We're only using about 66% of the uh, plug's memory. So we've still got 171 megs of RAM that isn't even being used, even, without, even for caching. So there's plenty of spare room left to actually add additional things on, if you so desire. Uh, there's also Munnin, which is a great little tool. Uh, it's pretty lightweight, but it's basically like a flight recorder. It's showing us our disk space consumption, just showing uh, database activity, which is pretty lightweight. Any Ethernet errors, you can see traffic here. Probably these represent calls, otherwise it's background noise on my network. The mail server, so you can see Postfix has been de delivering emails and voicemails to us at various times during the day. Samba I have set up. Um, like I said, you can share out folders. Of, I think I have a couple shares set up of uh, logs and hold music and things like that. As far as people asking how hard the Shiva plug is working, you can see here the usage by day is peanuts. It's been flatlined for the past three or four weeks, and we probably get, I don't know, four or five calls a day. Um, the usage that the system actually is incurring is probably just generating all these charts for Munnin. What's generating this visual information is probably using more processing resources than the phone system. Uh, load average is pretty lightweight. You can see it's anywhere, but on average around 0.2. Memory usage is kind of over the place, but as you can see, hole in hole, um, blue is unallocated memory. So it doesn't use a lot. I don't really see any leaks. It seems pretty stable. I've actually turned off swap on my own unit, and I'll probably turn off swap space on future iterations. So Webmin is the finals piece. This is a very handy uh, tool. Webmin allows you to, oh, I think I changed my password recently. And by the way, if you haven't yet, please change your root password. A friend of mine dropped in a plug PBX in place of his old phone system, but he forgot that SSH was turned on, forwarding his router, and uh, SSH script on some bot somewhere basically rooted him. And he quickly realized it the next day and had his VoIP provider change his, root, his uh, secrets for his uh, trunks before somebody stole telephony service. It's, a, it's an issue. You have to be careful. People can steal your telephone service, so don't do anything silly like my friend. I will not disclose that friend's name in case he's watching this. But he knows who he is. Um, within Webmin itself, you have access to the Apache web server. 
the SQL Server. <clears throat> to be honest, you might interact with the Samba Windows Server. If you plug in a USB hard drive, you might want to share a folder out on the network, make this thing into a file server. Within PostFix itself, and I'm not going to duplicate what's out there. You can go out and read out how to tell PostFix how to re relay email to Google Mail. In my case, it's relaying email to my uh, own ISP here. So in their case, they don't require silly authentication. So I'm using Tech Savvy. So I just had to go into here, click this button, set this option here, and now my Shiva plug is delivering email to the world through my ISP SMTP uplink. So Webmin also, by the way, is how you can very easily reboot your computer. Reboot your Shiva plug and shut it down. You should always try and shut it down cleanly. Uh, you don't have to touch the command line. I didn't want people to have to. There we go. So that's the basics as far as what you get out of the box.